Hello, 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 everyone. Put me a little lip gloss on today so I wouldn't look so basic. want to chat with you all about a download I got while I was out running my errands in 105 degree weather out here in Texas. The power just went off, so if you all see some sweat beads, send up some prayers for your girl because it's hot as Hades outside. Power went out about 10 minutes ago, and I hope like hell my food does not spoil because it is groceries are real out here but anyway um a song came to my head while i was out and about thinking and praying praying and thinking and shopping and getting my goodbyes how many of you all go to two or three grocery stores to get a goodbye that's me i was at costco h-e-b if you all don't have an h-e-b i'm sorry but if you do you know you know but um i was out getting my little groceries like they say in New Orleans, I had to go make groceries. And um, a song popped in my head called um, The Devil Went Down to Georgia. And um, the reason I'm smiling is because I know I'm divinely protected. But I do believe that the devil tried to go down to Georgia, but it didn't know that I live in Texas, baby. Hmm. Bypass me. Miss me with that nonsense spell casting and dark magic and other bullshit but anyway i i say i'm saying that because a lot of us have been feeling um heavily attacked over these past few months especially the past few weeks really heavy during this last cycle um where you know it's been in the community we've talked about it tarot readers have have picked up on it you may be picking up on it and experiencing different things, um, but the uh, dark forces are certainly at work, and uh, they're trying their best to, you know, dim the light of our light workers and dim the light of the, you know, divine feminines and to come in to um, infiltration of those who are supposed to be together, who have been divinely guided to come out of separation. It's been a lot. The attacks have been real. Attacks have been heavy. And um, we will prevail. We shall overcome. Uh, what's meant for us is for us, you know. Um, as they say, you know, if there is a, a connection that's been divinely ordered in heaven, man didn't make them and man can't break them. Let me say that again. Man didn't make them and man can't break them. So, with that being said, I want to share... Um, a reading, a download, pull some cards for the collective. And I'm actually pulling from, and I love this, this new deck that I got, the Moon Goddess. <laughs> it is two cards that came out of the deck. Listen and learn. And what is holding you back? What is holding you back? When I think about what is holding you back, it's not so much an affirmation to forge right ahead, head over heart, into um, an opportunity, venture, or relationship. But think about why you have delays. What is causing you to doubt um, what's going on or your decision making? That is your intuition guiding you, telling you, hey, think before you leap. Think about what's holding you back. Think about your um, environmental scan. And that's what we say in business. You know, oh, yes, the lights came back on. Woo Think about your environmental scan as to what's holding you back. And, and in business, we call that a SWOT, an internal and external SWOT analysis, your strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. When we reflect on what's holding us back, think about the impact of a rash is how uh, the the impact of rash decision making can have on your outcome. You know, uh, give yourself the time to analyze critically the steps that you need to take, the next steps that you need to take. Be divinely guided. Ask for guidance. Ask your ancestors and spirit guides for assistance in making the next decision. Um, familiar. Um, listen and learn. Listen and learn. I have learned so much from the my soul tribe, um, Cloud Whisper, Tiara's Tiara's Tarot. Um, there are so many. Uh, Empress Eva has taught me so much because although I was intuitive, I had no idea 
uh, about what was happening to me. I just knew I felt crazy, mentally unstable, because I could feel intuitively something happening to me spiritually, but I couldn't put a name on it. You know, I couldn't... Uh, I, and I know our battle is, is not only physical or with the physical world, it's spiritual. Um, hold on one quick second, guys. Okay, sorry about that. See how the devil just want to interrupt? See, confirmation. So, uh, what was I saying? Listen and learn. Okay, so I, I have been able to incorporate some of the guidance, spiritual guidance, warnings um, and advisories from an entire um, community of readers, gifted um, earth angels and divine feminines and empresses that were able to help guide me, to help me refine my craft, to pique my interest and to help me protect myself. And protection begins with awareness and we become aware by listening and learning and incorporating skills and scaffolding that into our own craft. So listen and learn, be aware of your environment and those things around you. Um, you know, be in tune with nature, be in tune with self. Um, God dang, God, all these notifications here. In tune with yourself and in, in tune with the divine and your spirit ancestors and spirit guides. All right, we are, I want to pull from the Kipper deck today because um, I haven't done a whole lot with it and I usually see tarot readers using it to do validations or confirmations or whatever. So I want to pull from it. How's everybody feeling today? Hopefully you are not experiencing 103 degree weather with the humidity index of, that makes it feel like it's 153. What do we need to know today for the collective? Give us a message. What does the collective need to know? Divine, please and thank you. Okay, we got too many. Let's do that again. What do we need to know? Give us a word. Give us some confirmations. Courthouse. Number 23 could be significant. Message of concern. Number 14 could be highly significant. Main male. Number one, highly significant. Somebody could have been born on the 23rd, 14th, or on the 1st. Ooh! An unexpected income. Courthouse. Um, looks like there's some official communications that you can be expecting within two to three months regarding courtship or marriage. So this could potentially be divorce um, or this could uh, actually be about a home. I see the um, individual is holding two court documents, so it could be regarding a home and a marriage, perhaps even a division of assets or something of that nature. Message of concern. Via email, looks like you um, may be able to expect an email communication from someone that you are in separation from or have been separated from. It could be a soulmate or twin flame. Take it as it resonates. It doesn't have to be. Um, looks like it's a confession. Looks like it's uh, regarding something very important um, in endearing words. Um, 
This lady is grabbing at her heart. It is definitely a very important matter. Um, looks like it, it's it's a letter regarding a revelation of feelings, um, commitment. Um, someone is pouring their heart out in script, in words, in writing. Hmm. This letter, this communication is coming from a main male, um, someone who is very wealthy, but has been very covert about their feelings, um, not very forthcoming. And it looks like um, he has just very deceitful intentions. So when you do receive this communication, you, you're going to have to take it with a grain of salt. It's not something that you need to act on immediately. You know, listen and learn, basically, from what we from what we pulled earlier on our Oracle deck. Um, take your time and deliberate. This individual that is going to send you this letter, this communication, um, is not honest. He is not honest, and, and there are hidden motives behind why he is sending this communication to you um, after four, five, six months, or even longer of having ghosted you, okay, um, and having left you out in the cold. There is a motive behind this communication, so be very careful and um, very wise when you read over this because it could be love bombing, um, you know, just totally releasing um, emotions that are not backed by anything substantive unexpected income some of you are going to come into unexpected income and this is going to be a gift for you from the divine um, in addition to um, other blessings Okay, and that might be a small lottery winning, an increase in salary, or payout for a lawsuit, but you are going to get an unexpected income from the divine. And perhaps this main male is aware of what is coming, um, because he definitely is someone that you know i feel is tapped into something i don't know what it is dark magic or just i don't know there's something about this main male you know uh he could be in his 40s well very well to do but also um untrustworthy so the numbers 23 14 1 and 27 could be significant. 27, 1, 14, and 23. All right. Let's see what we have coming out. Divine ancestor spirit guides. Show us what we need to see. Show us what we need to see. The collective give us some information to be used for their highest good, please, and thank you. I'll see what hit the floor. Drug addict. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Satan worship it. Worshippers. Obsessed with you guys. I live out on a farm, so you might hear my chickens doing what chickens do. It's hot as heck out there. They need to go get in the coop. Well, what's wrong? They're walking around in 103 heat like they not hot. <laughs> okay. This is the second time this is pulled up. Um, addictions, slim body, yeah, 
Miss Sally Sue is out there walking around on my wraparound porch like she ain't hot. What's wrong with my chicken? Look at her little chicken butt. <laughs> We got a few popped out here. Poor as fuck. <laughs> Telling lies and rumors about you. Somebody creeping. Lustful energy. And BMW. Somebody could be, could own a BMW, drive a BMW. Lustful energy. Somebody's creeping. Confirmation. Slim body. Could be significant. Telling lies and rumors about you. They're trying to... Their attitudes and behaviors, they're trying to project those things on you. They are the ones that have lustful, promiscuous behavior, but they want to project that on you. So they're lying on you to others. Poor as fuck. And this could not necessarily be... Uh, materialistically poor but spiritually poor that's what i'm getting obsessed with you which is why they're telling lies on you um stalking you watching your every movement wanting to be you player hayden <laughs> addictions um this could be any type of addiction addiction uh whether it be sexual addiction um drug addiction alcohol addiction Satan worshipers, I am sensing strong occultic activity, negative dark occult activity. Um, right now, it's it's very heavy. Um, and, and let me just say this about, I think this is just for cross watchers and, and others, but for the community, we understand that this battle is not just physical. It is metaphysical, it is spiritual, it is um, it's real, you know, and a lot of us in the community and a lot of you who are watching, you probably don't understand what is happening, but you know something is happening. Uh, spiritual battles are not always evident in the 3D. They can be, um, and generally they will, you know, as above, so below. Oftentimes it's very hard to quantify or name or detail what's happening to you spiritually. Um, so with satanic worshipers, they do all these different type of heinous rituals and sacrifices um, to bring out of the 5D into the 3D to manifest negativity on your life or, or upon the people you love. So be very mindful of that and don't um, negate what you are feeling. And for the second time, um, drug addict or addiction card pulled up. Generally, when individuals are dipping and dabbing in satanic worship, they're using some type of mind-altering altering drug or substance. But your future is bright. You are protected. You are being divinely guided to calmer waters. You are safe safe in his arms and I'm hearing a gospel song of uh, safe in his arms safely in his arms that's where you are you are protected you are healing you are abundant you are bountiful you are loved you are enough you are more than enough all right what are we gonna do next Pull a few cards for my tarot. Hmm. I am I am sensing someone is coming into revelation about things that have been happening to them. You've been in denial collective about the person that is attacking you spiritually. You've been in heavy denial. You just didn't think that world existed and you didn't think that person had um, anything to do with such occultic activities or occult activities. You just wouldn't allow yourself to believe it. But I think now you're coming into the realization 
that yes, it can happen. I have the high priestess in reverse. Hidden motives, superficiality, confusion, and short-sighted. So, and then the Knight of Swords in reverse. You've got individuals that are coming against you, collaborating. <laughs> um, strong water sign and air sign. Deceitful. There's a plot, heavy plot against you, and we, we saw that earlier. Heavy plots against you to come against you, but no weapon form against you shall prosper. We've got a hermit. All answers are within you, inner solitude, divine inspiration. We also have this seven of swords in reverse revelations you have you are going within in order to find out the truth about who is against you it could be a lover it could be a family member most often I'm getting a strong sensation it is a lover someone you trusted um, someone you gave your heart to and they just weren't worthy they are conspiring against you with this high priestess in reverse um, dark, dark, dark energy, dark witch who's using all types of uh, magic and rituals against you to sacrifice you, to hurt you, to harm you. But you are protected. But that doesn't mean um, awareness isn't an additional strength that you need to acquire. Confirmation. So with that being said... Um, Continue to seek revelation, wise counsel, and truth. Lean not unto your own understanding, but please don't negate your intuition. You've been given intuition for a reason. Use it. Don't allow yourself to be blinded by love or what you think is love. You know, you have someone in your circle that truly does not love you. They do not care. They were ready to throw you on an altar and sacrifice you and will do it. And, and, and not only did they do it once, they did it multiple times. And they were not successful. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. You are more than a conqueror. Let's get you some guidance. Ancestors and spirit guides, give us some words of guidance for the collective to be used for our highest good. Give us some words for the collective, please. And thank you. There's, there's something better. My great-grandfather used to say, when you're going through hell, don't take the scenic route go through it allow yourself to learn what you need to learn to come out better on the other end of it there is something better for you i know you are thinking for some of you um, take it as it resonates you are thinking that this person is the love of your life and they could never betray you and they have swords all in your back and in your heart to allow loving eyes to see what is really happening there is something better. You deserve something better. And you will have something better. Success is coming your way. Abundance, love, true fulfillment, wish fulfillment, and happiness. It's headed your way if you will only let go. Let go and let God. Let go and release all that does not serve you. You are emerging into a new cycle of happiness and abundance, and the world awaits you. Everything awaits you that your heart desires. You are only a decision away, a mindset away. There is something better. Success in all that you dream of and wish for if you will only let go. If you will only let go. Thank you all so much for being a part of my community. I appreciate you. Um, I know 
this is this is a new journey for me um, and I just appreciate everyone's patience and encouragement and I thank you for stopping by to listen please like share and subscribe or do one or the other or leave a comment or tell me um, whether or not this resonates with you but I wish you love peace abundance and all the happiness your hand and heart can hold take care of yourself everybody peace